Hey guys, I wanted to share quickly a message. I believe that God wants me to share. Just pray on it. And uh, here we go. So this is what I've just a uh, summary of things that I've gotten in prayer. Just collected. It might sound a little bit uh, jumpy here and there, but you'll you'll get the general idea. So think about the times you've been let down. Really feel it and let it happen. All of these things are gone in the past and have been erased. No longer are they a part of you. They are of the old life. The new life starts now. You will be walking, talking, and thinking different. You'll no longer miss or think back to anything in the old life. Transformation begins with full restoration by God's order only for his children. For those who believe in Jesus, live for Jesus. Likewise, the other reward for those who did not care about him or his name will be punished in the judgments. You yourself only watch and stand safe and witness the hammer fist smashing iron blow of God's hand on the world, yet you yourself will be unharmed. This goes for all who confess his name, live according to his will, hearing his still small voice. There are more like you everywhere. You will soon start to teach what you have learned, and many will start to listen. You will face opposition, but your glow and power will silence people when they see Jesus in you. You will have power beyond what he had on earth. Greater works shall you do in my name. The Holy Spirit is a wild flame. No one knows where the wind comes and goes, so it will be of those who are of the Holy Spirit. You will be kept safe from all troubles if your eyes are fixed on Jesus as Peter was walking on water. Do not fall for the illusions at sea. Waves, wind, even monsters will not harm you if your eyes are fixed on him. You will die but come back better than ever. And I'll just pause real quick. When God, when I heard that, I did not like it. I wasn't sure what, if I was hearing correctly or what that meant, but um, there's more to it. I think this all happened for God to allow me to see the right context of death. For those in Jesus, the, that's not a problem. There's no sting in it. That's It's nothing to be afraid of. The ones that don't have Jesus, you know, in the world, those, yeah, it's terrifying to think about death. He says, son, there is no fear of death for my children that was taken away at the cross. You will leave shortly, but come back. You will come back 10 times more magnified seeing heaven and seeing me face to face. You are destined for great things. This is to you guys. You need to see the great things to be fully prepared. Yes, it is true that you die shortly, then return unharmed. No harm will befall you or become of you. You will even be better. You will be met with great opposition for the amount of influence you will have for the kingdom. Many will make you a target, but God will keep you safe through everything. Not one hair on your head will be harmed. This is truth from the mouth of God your Father. He will see to it that you are safe, protected through everything. It will happen quickly, painlessly. You will come back well rested, like nothing ever happened. But you will gain an understanding not many have. You will know what you are fighting and hoping for. There will be no fear left in you to die for the kingdom if it comes for it, if it comes to it. This is known as preparation for the wedding banquet. When you leave, you are taken death to the flesh and spirit man comes fully alive not one second is wasted not one second of pain or tears or crying is forgotten you will see exactly what is prepared for those who love him did he not say that you will do greater things see greater things who but a few can ever have this privilege and return to earth and have witnessed things only the dead could see what fear is left in death for those already dead and alive in Christ? None, I tell you, none. There is no sting in death. He takes the soul before the pain suffers the soul. You must always be ready to leave. Always be ready because tomorrow is never promised. Every day is a gift from God. Every day is a new mercy and grace given to the earth. You will be seen by many because of your newfound faith and boldness. 
people will be in terror and awe of your fierceness for God after this, until you leave for good at the wedding feast with your soulmate. And just to pause, this makes me think about people saying they left and came right back the same second. I guess God has a, yeah, it's maybe starting to make more sense. I'm not sure. When I got this, I had no idea what it was about. But after seeing other people's videos, it's starting to make more sense. To leave the body, it's seen as a taste of glory, a taste of victory for those in Jesus. God's glory in full view. It's not seen as something negative. There is no negative destruction or pain. It's only viewed as a positive. Even Jesus said this, My peace I give to you, not as the world gives, that is beyond all understanding. I let none slip through my hands the Father has given me. Take heart, for I have overcome the world. Though you may have tribulations and trials of all kinds, I will deliver you from them all. He will uphold you with his righteous right hand.